This is a series of videos teaching you how to use the resources of the FamilySearch Research Wiki to support your genealogical research for ancestors who lived in Italy. There are 13 parts to this series and you can watch them in order. However, it is important that you know the town that your ancestors lived in in Italy to be successful in Italian research. Therefore, you might want to start with parts 11, 12, and 13 that will help you find your town of origin if you do not now know it. The Family Search Research Wiki is an encyclopedia, just like Wikipedia, except that all of the articles are about genealogy. Here, you will learn basic genealogy skills and strategies. You will learn in this series record types specific to Italy and strategies specific to Italy and you will also find links to online databases for records in Italy. This is the address that will take you directly to the Italy genealogy page in the research wiki. It will be posted in the notes attached to this lesson. This is the Italy genealogy main page. A main page in the wiki acts as an index to all the other articles that will teach you about genealogy in that country. Here in this Getting Started section, you will find how-to guides and articles more on a beginner level to help you find specific records that you're looking for. Under Italy Research Tools, you will find genealogical word lists, and these word lists will help you to learn just the few words that you need to successfully read genealogical records. You will find translations of the forms used for birth, marriage, and death certificates. Here on the right we have a sidebar, which is an index to all the articles about the different record types, geographical and historical background, and so on. I strongly suggest that you read the article on church records and the article on civil registration. 95% of the research you do in Italy will be using just these two record groups. Here, for example, is the article on Italy church records. This article will explain to you what the records are. It will tell you the time period that the records cover. It will tell you for the different types of records what items of information you would expect to find. For example, this will tell you the specific data that you would find in a baptism record. And then the article will tell you how to find church records, which may include records at the Family History Library, writing to local parishes, and the various collections that are online. Next on the main Italy genealogy page, you will see this button, Italy Online Records. This takes you directly to the Italy Online Genealogy Records page. Here you will find listed links to the known online databases for Italian records. For example, this link will take you to digitized civil registration records for different regions in Italy. These are the digitized records available in the Family Search Historical Records Collection, which are just a few of the online databases that you will find listed on the Italy Online Genealogy Records page. Back again on the Italy main page, you will see this Ask the Community button. By clicking on this, you will go to the Family Search Genealogy Research Groups on Facebook. The Southern Europe Genealogy Research Community covers Italy. This will take you to a group of people who are experienced in Italian genealogy. You can ask them for advice, or perhaps you might have them help you translate a document. Finally, on the Italy main page, you will find this clickable map and a list of provinces. These links will take you to an article for each individual province, which will give you detailed instruction on research for that province. Part 2 of this series will teach you how to use these special province pages. Now you try it. Find the Italy genealogy page for the wiki by clicking on the URL in the notes. In the right sidebar, find the articles on church records and civil registration. 
As we have discussed, these are the most important records that you will use in Italian genealogy, so it would be good to study them and learn all that you can about these two record types. In the list of provinces down at the bottom of the page, click on the province where your ancestors lived. In part two of this series, we will go over these province pages in detail and show you how to use them.